guys, welcome back to another episode of Off Axis Builds. Today we're going to be trying to find a uh, exhaust leak on the YJ. Um, these usually have an exhaust leak on the back um, bolt or, or manifold area. It's not the bolt, but just in that general area. Uh, usually that's the hotter part of the engine and, and things just tend to warp out and you get a slight exhaust leak. I don't think I have one there. I'm gonna check that, but I'm also gonna do a uh, uh, exhaust pipe check. And uh, what we do to do to check that is we would put a vacuum on it. Now, most vacuums, shop vacuums, you have a suction side and a blower side. What we're gonna do is put the hose on the blower side, plumb that to the uh, tailpipe, tape it up really nice so it doesn't leak back out the tailpipe. And then you turn it on, okay? And what, at that point, you get some soap and you just spray your uh, welded joints, uh, spray certain areas that you think could be, have a leak. Um, now, sometimes uh, the leak's easy to find. Sometimes they're right on one of your welds. Sometimes you just have a crack in the pipe. Um, I do know I had a crack in the pipe and I thought I uh, welded it all up nice and tight, but there was uh, one area I could not get the welding tip in so I think what I'm gonna do in that area I'm just gonna mix up some JB weld and try to get in that area now before I do the JB weld I am gonna scrape it clean off the mud get it down to decent metal so I can the JB weld can stick uh, but if I do have a crack I'm gonna get the welder out and run a bead over that now so let's go ahead and see what I have set up underneath the car as far as the vacuum goes and as far as uh, what I need to do to find this leak. All right, guys, let's get her done. Guys, to do this, I just got a spray bottle, filled it with some soapy water, dish soap, something that's gonna uh, bubble up when you spray it on um, an exhaust leak of some sort. I have uh, just a little shop back here uh, that I've taken the uh, hose off of the intake side and put it to the exhaust side, okay? We ran that up underneath the car to yeah. the exhaust tailpipe okay taped it up and really nice and tight uh, so at this point now that we're all taped up I'm just going to uh, turn the vacuum on and go through and spray the joints and see where I have a leak all right guys let's go All right guys, so like I was saying, there was a couple uh, small pinholes through the whole system. Uh, I found one um, back where I welded in the um, Cadillac converter. Um, it was right above, um, well, right on top where I couldn't get to get in there with the, the welder. That was a small pinhole, um, it was something, you know, couldn't see. I had another one that was a little bit uh, 
further up uh, that was on the other end of the Cadillac converter. Um, same same deal, except this one was uh, the bracket that was holding the pipe cracked. I welded it all up nice and uh, good, uh, but there's a small pinhole, um, just enough to let exhaust out. Um, so I'm gonna clean both those up with the wire uh, brush. Um, one of these guys get you know just any type of wire in there brass stainless steel whatever and I'm just gonna quickly mix up some JB weld and fill in the voids there just to get it sealed it's a lot easier than pulling the welder out for just two small tacks um, also I have one other issue going on um, I bought this uh, new exhaust manifold for uh, for this unit this Jeep and uh, trying to remember the name of the exhaust manifold. I can't remember it right now offhand, but in any case, it's a, uh, excuse me, not manifold, I meant exhaust header. Um, right where all four uh, pipes come out of the engine and then they, they meet up, right where it's tied together, there's a small pinhole down the center at the bottom where they welded it on. Uh, so it's, it's welded nicely all the way around, um, but just that center point, and I should have looked at it before I installed it. At that point, I, pr I probably could have gotten a welder inside the pipe and welded that little joint right there nice um, and wouldn't have a leak. So now I gotta figure out how to get something down there. So I'm thinking with the same thing, I'm gonna uh, use the liquid JB Weld, mix it up. Hopefully it's, it's runny enough where I can kind of dribble it in there. I'm hoping, I don't know what else to do on that. I'm hoping all it is is just, uh, you know, can seal up that little joint down there. And then when that's done, I'm going to take some um, Permatex. Take some Permatex. This stuff will go up to uh, 500 degrees. It's probably not hot enough. I'm hoping, I'm hoping so. I might have some other stuff that's in the garage that can go a little bit hotter. I might use that. And I'm going to try to, after the JV Weld's dry, I'm going to try to drip that in there and just kind of glop it in i guess it's not something i want to do but i need it to pass smog and any type of hole that's before the Cadillac converter or before your o2 sensor i should say really affects your uh smog readings so let's go ahead and get the jb weld mixed up and uh clean off those two joints in the back and then um as far as the uh exhaust manifold or excuse me, exhaust header. Um, we'll see what we can get done on that. Um, you saw in the video the little uh, uh, moisture that when I was spraying it was uh, shooting out when the vacuum was on. Uh, it was way worse inside the engine bay. And uh, I think this is the tick that I've been having since I've installed it. I always thought it was a slight, I don't know, exhaust leak at the uh, right where the uh, manifold mounts to the engine or um, just some sort of vacuum leak or something I, I don't know but I think this is the one that I've been searching for so let's get get it done and uh, start her up and see what we have all right guys all right guys so I know I told you guys I was gonna put some uh, JB Weld down on the manifold and some caulking down there or, or gasket sealer. I was actually just kidding about that. I was waiting for the parts to come in. Um, anyway, so I ordered a new header for it. Um, got a new gasket for it. Uh, the reason why I got a new gasket is because the gasket that comes with the header is not a good uh, gasket. And I'll show you all that here. And I also got a new um, oxygen sensor. I figured since I'm replacing all this, I might as well put a new one in. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I got. It's a direct replacement from what I have, uh, which is a pace setter uh, exhaust. Uh, so I shouldn't have to do any welding. Just have to unbolt it, put this guy in, and bolt it back to, down. So let's go ahead and take a look at it and uh, go from there. All right, guys, so that's the pace setter number uh, if you want to get uh, this whole system. It comes with the header, okay? 
Now the paint on this header is not good paint. You're gonna to wanna to sand it down and put some good paint on it. It's probably still gonna burn off, uh, but at least it has better paint on it than what comes in the box. And also comes with the down tube, okay? So that's where the header would attach, would come across to the passenger side and then attach to your uh, um, Cali converter or however you're, you're gonna mount it there. So um, like I said, cheap paint i would definitely paint it um again i uh, probably didn't go with high enough temp on it uh if i had to do it and wanted to spend the money on it i probably would put a uh ceramic coat on it but what i did was i put uh 2000 degree uh spray paint on it it may or may not hold up um but it's not a big deal if it doesn't it'll just get a little rust on it so this guy um, is a direct replacement to the stock one. Um, everything fits up. The only thing you'll need to do is change. Um, well, obviously, the oxygen sensor will come up a little bit higher. And then you also have to change the down tube. Um, so it's really easy to do. I have another video on that. You should check it out. Um, pretty straightforward. I do remember on that video though, I had to put a good dent in the pipe. I don't know if you can, on the side here to clear um, the power steering um, pump. Uh, so, and uh, you can go and take a look at on the video on how I or what I did there. Um, but I'm not going to uh, show you guys how to install this. I'm just going to remove it and put the new one in. Uh, and then this is the gasket that I got. Uh, from O'Reilly's, uh, just a Fell Pro. Uh, there's the part number. The reason for that is uh, the gasket comes with it. it is a cheap um, paper gasket. I don't know if I can open this up. Yeah. Here, let me sit you guys down and open it up. So the first time I did this install, I actually used their gasket um it's cheap uh it breaks down really easy once it and what happened was it got really brittle on the back cylinder i think i got it correct yeah on the back uh cylinder exhaust it got really brittle because the bolt actually came loose a little bit and started coming down and it had an exhaust leak well this whole section blew out um so at that point i went and got the felt pro and haven't had a problem since on the manifold uh, gasket side. Where I did have a problem on, it's a pace setter now, it actually cracked, I think it was uh, right in here, and then on the back side, same spot. And I think that's because I had exhaust leak. And what happened was it was running too uh, uh, rich at that point, and these pipes got too hot and just cracked. Um, I don't think it was a failure on the pipe. I think it was just, they overheated and then cracked. Um, so I also got a, uh, uh, oxygen sensor and it just screws right into the side. Okay. And then you just plug that in, uh, fairly easy job. Like I said, I'll put a link to the video on how to install this guy. So let's go ahead and get the. Old one out and this new one in. I had was up in here. Um, it was just difficult to get the welder in there and get it all. That's why it's all globbed like it is. I'm not happy with how that weld looks. Um, this is, came out really clean. But again, I was able to do that off of the car. This I was able to do underneath. But as soon as you get to the top, it's just difficult. I'm not a professional welder. Probably should have tigged it. If I had a TIG, I would have, um, but that's MIG. Uh, so anyways, what I'm gonna do is clean off this top side and then I'll turn the vacuum on one more time and see where exactly the leak is coming from and then I'll fill that in. The other spot is right on top of this right here. Okay, I had a crack right here and it cracked all the right there so i welded this whole thing up thinking that you know i could stop it and without having to pull it all the way off the car and put a 
a patch on it that was a quick fix first thing in the morning before I left for work actually one day uh, so again it was a quick fix so I'm just gonna go ahead and put some Jebby weld there and then anywhere else that you know is on the top I'll just go ahead and quickly put something on the top there So, putting JV Weld on those joints helped. It fixed the small pinhole leaks that I had. Um, started up, can't hear the tick. You really can't hear it on the camera anyways. I, I was gonna film it before, but I couldn't hear it unless you're inside the cab and actually listening for it. Uh, remember guys, it's uh, to like, comment, and subscribe and uh remember it's built not bought all right guys see you on the next one